Hello and welcome to Family Communion. Um, if you uh, are able to get some bread and wine, you can pause the video at this point, get some bread and wine, maybe light a candle if you like, and then join us as we share bread and wine informally together. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And so we're going to pray together now, guys, the prayer there of preparation that we can see on our sheets. So we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we're just going to take a little moment of silence to think about the week that's just gone, and the ways in which we haven't lived in the way that we know God wants us to live. And so we're going to pray that prayer at the top of the sheet here. So let us admit to God the sin which always confronts us. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And then Psalm 103 says, He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor punished us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack in nothing, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the dark, darkest valley, I will not fear, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, your goodness and love will flow me all, follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, the man who does not enter by the sheepfold, the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The man who guards the door opens it for him. And the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd. He calls his own sheep using their names, and he leads them out. He brings all of his sheep out, then he goes ahead of them and leads them. They will follow him because they know his voice, but they will never follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they don't know his voice. Jesus told the people this story, but they did not understand what it meant. Jesus is the good shepherd, so Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, I am the door for the sheep. All the people who came before me were thieves and robbers. The sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. The person who enters through me will be saved. He'll be able to come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. But I come to give life. Life in all its fullness. Okay, so now, today's and everybody, we're going to share the bread and wine together. So if you, we can, if you look where mine is pointing, there's some things to say in response. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Lord of life, you created the universe where all living things reflect your glory. You gave us this great and beautiful earth to discover and to cherish. You give us sun and moon and starlit sky, everything that gives us light, light for our eyes, our hearts, our minds. You give us your love even when things go wrong. Jesus knew hurt and pain. Through him you wipe away our tears and fill us with your peace. You made us all each wonderfully different to join with the angels and sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you, loving Father, because when we turned away, you sent Jesus, your Son. He gave his life for us on the cross, a perfect sacrifice for all we had done wrong. Send your Holy Spirit that these gifts of bread and wine may remind us of Christ's body and his blood shed for us. On the night before he died, when darkness had fallen, Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and shared it with his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this to remember me. After they'd eaten, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and shared it with his disciples, saying, This is my blood, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. So, Father, with this bread and this cup, we celebrate his love, his death, his risen life. As you feed us with these gifts, pour your Holy Spirit on us, that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. And now with all your saints we give you glory through Jesus Christ, in the strength of the Spirit, today and forever. Amen. 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 And so we're going to say the Lord's Prayer together now, as far as we know it's okay. Oh, well, yes, you can read it. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts, by faith, with thanksgiving. And now I pass you this in the Jesus Christ, the bit of cake. Amen. Thank you for the gift that's in there. Good bread. Take that one. And then Kate can give a piece to Mama. We say the body of Christ was broken for you. Can I give it to Mama? Uh, to Mama. Thank you. 
Let's get that last prayer together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. together um, a song that is based on that psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd um, I, I, I think you will have the words so do join in with us let's find the note of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.